Okay, so let's get let's get going with the assembly. So here's the uh, the damper spring that I said was missing originally out of this. So here's the Honda code. Um, this spring is used in loads of bikes. I mean loads of bikes. So there is no up or down on this one. It just goes on. Just like that. No, no up or down. And that just pops into the tube. There we go. That's it. The inner bush. Just pops on and you hear the little click. That's it, she's perfect. I'll just show you the old one. So big difference. So that's that. Next we have the uh, the outer bush. There it is, there's two of them there. Spills in. That's it. Bad boy goes on. Now, just the seal has to go on there. Right. So we have the, the big spring. So like I said, there's an up and a down on the spring. Let me pick the right one. So there's the spring. There's the up, there's the down. Just goes straight in. That's right there. Just go straight in. Then there's this bad boy, which is the seat. Oh, here's the part number. If you're looking for it. That's the seat. So let me just put it in. Goes on like that. Oh. No, she in. She's in. Next is your cartridge. That's it. And then the cap will go on that. We'll leave that for the moment. Okay. So, the last thing there is just the seal. And then, on the leg. Show you what I'm doing. I'm just replacing that. Yeah, not that one, the next one. Yeah, and obviously that afterwards. I'm just replacing this uh, this bolt at the bottom. Now, like I said, there was nothing wrong with the last one. It came out, but I wouldn't like anybody in the future to have an issue with this. So, like that elbows kit came with a whole load of. Um, Copper, copper washers, as you see that, comes with a whole load, but this is the only one you need. So that goes in here, and just get that. Temporarily put this cap back on. Second 
Okay, now that I have the um, the spring under tension, it's actually pushing that that pivot at the end. So I should be able to screw this in nicely. Okay, so I had a small problem. My uh, my 3D printed tool failed, so I couldn't beat the seal in all the way, which meant I had to use some unorthodox ways of getting that seal down. So I, w I decided not to show you that bit because, um, well, one wrong move and you destroy your stanchion. So. Uh, it's not the proper way to do it, but it's just out of stock. So uh, anyway, I have the seal in now. Um, it does still just go straight on, no big. Again, there's an up and a down. Um, pity now that it didn't work out, but sure look. And it just goes straight on. So all that's left here is just to put the oil in um, and then the last thing I'm going to do, I'll just show you, is I got these rubbers, they're off, um, they're off a Harley Davidson um, and they fit perfectly, I've tried them on already. Yeah. That's it. Right, so that one is done, and um, like I said, pity that that the uh, tool failed. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've one done. I'll do the other one, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're on the bike. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna put the oil in. Um, sorry about the mess up on on, on the tool. Um, I wanted to have a, a complete video, but look, whatever happens, happens. Um, okay, this is an 88. Uh, I checked the chassis number, and so this is a J model. And the book says J model should have 133 millimeters. So there's 133. Take that off it. 133. So that's the level of oil. Press the the shock. It should be more or less more or less the full 500 mil. What we'll see. This was a measuring tape, of course, but a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Spot on. Okay, so that was, in my case, it was 440 mil. So, let's go going. Okay. So, I'll just pop all this stuff back in. And let's see it on the bike. Okay, so let's put these on and see how we get on. Now put my clip on below the yoke okay the goal was to get the 
the frame off the table and kind of a some sort of rolling chassis. So I'm nearly there. I just need to put the back wheel on it. Um, apologies again for not, not giving you a complete video of the assembly of the forks. Um, they're just like any other fork. Um, so if you if you Google fork assembly, I'm sure you'll find a video on it. There's nothing there's nothing special about these forks. Uh, my tool failed me halfway through it, and uh, and I decided I don't want to show the other way of uh, fitting seals because it's it's not the right way, and you could definitely damage either the seal or the fork. Or the staunching or you know any number of things and it will cost you more in the long run so probably not the right way to do it Um yeah i better keep going with this and uh yeah that's it for this evening anyway